Hey everybody, it's Anjanette from AJ's Personal Touch. How you doing? Um, I made a video earlier today, but that's going to be posted today. And then this one will be scheduled for tomorrow. This is all about my cow number five. Plus, I have a um, happy mail. It even says, this is an order from O Fire Co. Co o Fire Co. It's one of their hooks, really an unboxing. Um, it has this cute little sticker on it that says, Happy Mail. I love this in here. All I did was cut it open. I didn't really look. It has my order on it. Thank you for your order card. Isn't that cute? And then it has... Um, a Q code, which I believe is just their information on it. That was kind of cool. Okay, they had some seconds and I've been waiting for them to have some seconds because honestly, I couldn't afford a regular hook. So I got one of their seconds so that I can try it out. I remember I got a 7.0 millimeter, which for whatever reason, furls cause it an L, but it's actually considered just a 7.0 mil millimeter. An L I think is a 7.5, I think it's the L. So this has this cute little case it comes in Top the top, I've seen somebody do that before. And then there you go. I got the citrine color, which I'm really happy with. It's a beautiful orange. And I'm not usually one to like orange, but it's like a yellowy orange. It looked more yellow um, on their page, but that could be why it's a second. But actually it's called citrine. So you would expect to have like an orange from citrus fruit. So look at those swirls. I love those. But I wanted to try this out and see how much I like it compared to my pearls. And from what they showed in their live for how things are going to change for pearls, they're going more to a shape kind of like this. So. I wish I used the 7.0, 7.0, oh, the way I've been talking today has just been, I don't know, I'm tired. I just got done wrapping both of my feet and it took me three times to get on each one to get them right and I'm hoping they're right. It's kind of hurt. I had to do it loosely. I can't believe how blown up they are today. They've been fine for weeks. And then now, the day before my um, my procedure tomorrow, they blow up. I'm like, really? Because if they're too blown up, they may think it ha may have to do with the heart. And then there will be like, well, no, this doesn't have to do with the heart. So it has to do with my surgery. So. I don't know if it's because I was off of antibiotics for a couple days or what. But anyway, back to the hook. I like Susan Bates and it's a, is an inline. So I cannot wait to have reason to use this hook. They only had, um, I think they may have had a G size, which I use G, and they may have a G, had a G plus, and I do use a G plus um, for amigurumi sometimes. But I wanted a hook that I needed another one of, <clears throat> and I knew I needed a 7.0. So I can't wait to use it. And actually, I'm going to start using this to put my hooks in for when I. Um, take my crochet with me. So 
my hook that I'm using for my uh, squares. I'll put it in there. Although that one really doesn't need to go in there, but if I have something with me, say, that I'm using a nicer hook for, I'll put that in there. And I have done a couple more rows on this since I showed it to you. I believe I may have been down to about here. So that means I did one, two, three, four, six, and I'm in the middle of the eighth. So it's double what it looks like because the ones that you're seeing are the ones that you can see the um, the bobbles with, or the it's not a bobble stitch, it's a bean stitch. And then there's a single crochet um, row behind that. So anyway, that is my hook from O Fire Co. I will let you know how I think it is after I use it. So far, my favorite hooks are pearls. My Lyther Co. hooks are actually my absolute favorite hooks. Um, then my pearls with my pearl streamline. And um, then I, I also really, really love my, um, am I going to think of the name of them? I took my hooks back into the back room. My prams. And um, I got a couple of hooks that a friend gave me that were from Amazon. And now I always forget the name of those. I don't know why. I know if I went on and looked on my Amazon, I would be able to find them. So, but we are here to talk about Cal number five, which I'm excited about. I had put out... Um, I put out an email to the, the designer of what we are making and she never responded. So I can't put the picture in here then because I didn't get her permission. Um, as you guys know, do not ever, 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 ever use a picture from a designer. Um, to put in an email, to post anywhere. Um, it'll show up with the link, which is fine, which I will link below um, the page that it's on because it is a free pattern on her site. And the designer is Ned and Mimi. Um, I'm sure she's just busy. She probably didn't see that I emailed her or that I messaged her on Instagram, which is all fine. Um, it happens. Mm -hmm. I know I didn't answer like really any emails for almost a month unless it was something that I knew was going to be there. So, um, I can't think. Oh, I need to look it up. That's what I'm trying to do. Sorry, my brain. I did one good video today, which I did have pauses in there. and I did have to go and um, I didn't clean up the whole video, but I did do some edits to it. And let me put in here what it is. It is called the Dream Catcher Cardi. It's a free crochet shrug pattern. It's more like a cocoon, but it's got arms on it. And this should still work because I didn't I didn't increase the um the brightness from when I was using this earlier. So there it is. There's the back of one that somebody made in a different color. I really loved hers in the like beige off-white color. 
but um, I'm going to use two colors in mine. There's the picture like that. I am very, very, very excited to do this. Um, this is something that my friend Kathy and I were going to make them ourselves. We had each gotten the PDFs. And um, then I decided, you know what? We've been making really easy cows. Why not try it as a cow in case somebody else wants to learn how to make a cocoon? Because it'll be my first one. So in case anybody else wanted to learn how to make it besides just me. I know that... Um, Kathy's made a few of them. I've never made any. So I wanted to make this as my stepping stone to a regular cardigan. But of course, I wanted to have this done before um, my nephew's wedding, which of course is not going to happen. So I do have a shawl that I've been working on that I'm going to try to work on to get done. But with the way that I've been feeling, I don't even know if I'll get that one done. Because his wedding isn't this coming Saturday but it's the Saturday after that, so. And then the Saturday after that is my um, class reunion, which I don't know if I'm gonna be able to go to or not. My husband was looking at a possible change in his um, work hours. He may be going to days, but he has to put in for that job and they haven't posted it yet, so. He thought it would be posted by now and that he might be able to take me to my um, reunion, but it's not looking that way now. But I'll live. Um, I have a friend who said she wanted to go with me, um, my friend from school, and now she's just, <laughs> she's in the wind. I haven't heard from her again, so whatever. It is what it is. She was from a year ahead of me. So, actually two years. And it would have really been nice, you know, to have her go with me and, you know, because she's friends with a lot of us in my, um, in the year that I graduated because we all worked together at Dairy Queen. She got me my job at Dairy Queen and then a few of my friends were looking for a job and they were like, oh, you got in there. How'd you get in there? And, um. At least one of my friends that I was in a lot of classes with, he came over there to work. And then some other people that he knew came in. And so, yeah, quite a few people from our, um, our year we've worked with. And even from those who were a year after us. So, you know, every summer there was a new influx of, you know, kids. And depending on how long you work there, you may work with somebody who was, you know, senior on down. I know that when I first started working there, I worked with um, the oldest, I think were juniors. So they ended up being there for two summers that I was there. I believe so. And then um, I think one of them may have stuck around even after he graduated for a while because he wasn't going to college per se, and but he wasn't sure what he was going to do. And the other one may have come back during college break. Can't remember. Can't remember if either of them went to college. Anyway, I missed the heck out of them. I saw one of them on 4th of July, and it's actually his wife who ordered the moose for me. So, you know, how everything happens, <laughs> as they say, the world is small, so what a small world. There you go. Um, anyway, that's what we're going to make. I will put the um, link below. But what I need to know is, is there a better time for people besides Tuesdays and Thursdays from um, 4 to 6 Eastern time? I know there's somebody who may be doing this, and I need to get a hold of her um, personally to see if she's still planning on doing it or not. Right now, I know there's three of us from um, 
the four of us who did the stockings who are planning on doing this one. And um, I know there were a couple other people who were interested in doing this one. And one of them is another friend of mine, um, which I need to get in touch with her anyway, because, um, well, the other one who was interested, well, anyway, I need to get in touch with her because I'll, I won't say names right now, but most of you will know who she is, but she's the one that I do the lives on Wednesdays with. So I need to let her know that hopefully we'll be able to do the live for October and that, which means we need to start meeting on Sundays to plan that. And I need to ask her when it's good for her to try to get together for a cow um, because she works completely different hours and everything. And I want to be able to have at least one day a week that she can come and, you know, sit and do the cow with us. So twice a week would be great. And I may have to be changing things anyway if my husband's job does change. Because um, he'll be getting home about four o'clock. Now it all depends. He may just want to take, lay down, take a nap, and get up later for dinner, or he may want dinner right away. So um, I'll just need to ask him if it happens. You know what's better for him. But no matter what, when we set the times for Cal Five, we're going to do the whole Cal Five in that time. And this Cal may take two months. So or a little bit longer, and we'll do it for as long as we need to. Um, hopefully we'll be done before the end of 2023, but if we're not, we're not. Um, what else did I want to say? Oh, if you know of a pattern that you would really like to make, but you would like to make it as a cow and work with other people while you're making it, let me know. And, um, I'll make a list for next year because I'm starting to run out of ideas, except for I do know we will be making another market bag because um, I have the, well, I don't have it yet. It's going to be sent to me. I sent the money to a friend because they didn't have it at the store near me. They had it at the store near her and she's going to be doing the cow too, but we got the actual yarn that it was made with because we actually loved and fell in love with the bag so, so much. I may not even use it as a market bag. I may use it as a project bag. I don't know. Um, but I'm nef definitely not giving it away like I did the last one. So, um, yeah. If you have any ideas for cows next year, let me know. If not, I'm sure I can find plenty of things from plenty of, um, patterns that I've had saved away that I want to make and I haven't had time to make. So, um, yeah, I need to start making my list of like, when I'm done with this, I need to do this, but I wasn't going to do that till I got my whips done and I haven't really gotten any of my whips done for this year. So that's going to be my resolution again for next year to have it be my year of the whips. I need to get my whips done. I absolutely need to, and I need you guys to help me stay on it. <laughs> so yes, I'm going to do the cows. Yes, I'm going to have other things that I'm going to need to do during the year. Once I get Emily's blanket done, which I'm hoping to before Christmas this year, it was supposed to be her gift last year. It's probably going to end up being her gift this year, her and her husband's. Once I'm done with it, then I can start taking care of my whips and getting them done. So, yeah. And then, you know, if I get an order from somebody, that's okay. But I'm not taking orders for Christmas this year. I'm not planning on it. There is one person who's dear to my heart. I sent her a pattern the other day just because it made me think of her. And then she wrote back and she's like, oh, that might be a good gift for, you know, so-and-so and so-and-so. And I'm thinking, oh, no. Did I just, you know, put my foot in my mouth because I really don't want to do any this year for um, make any Christmas gifts for anybody. Once I'm done with the moose, that's it. 
because I have a couple other things I have to get done for babies. Um, one that's already born and one that's going to be due in February. So I really don't want to keep on taking in, I mean, if somebody comes to me and says, hey, I love what you did on the moose or I love what you did with that, this, could you make me something? I'm not going to say no. Orders come first because I need to make money. I mean, let's be real. But I'm not going to like advertise or anything right now because I just have so much to do. So with that, I'm going to go because honestly, I can't think of all of the things I wanted to say. I believe I said them all. Um, I love you guys. I miss you guys. I can't wait to start the cow as it is right now. If we do the same days, um, I can't start this week. Plus, I want you guys to be able to have time to get your yarn. But I think that everybody that I know of who wants to do it already has their yarn. Um, those people who decide that they want to do it because they watch this video, I'm going to give you enough time to get yarn together. So, uh, let me see. And speaking of, I think it's a size 5 yarn. I know I'm using Scarfy for mine. Um, I pulled up. So, it won't be this coming week. I would like to, if we're staying with the old schedule, I'd like to start it on the 10th. Do it on the 10th and the 12th but honestly Mondays and Tuesdays are pretty bad for me and I don't know if I'm going to do like I did on the last one where I do one virtually and then do one live I'm thinking about it but I may have the, the two permanent days just be virtual and then maybe toss in a live on the weekend or I don't know I don't know depends on how I feel. It really depends on how I feel. And lives take more out of me than um, just when I show up and sit and crochet with all of my friends. So if you guys, I also need to know if you happen to watch the lives, I think I did two of them um, before it was obvious that nobody was going to be doing the cow other than those who actually show up into my group, into the virtual event, um, which if virtually is the way that most people like it because we can all talk together and all help each other. So um, I don't know if anybody got any enjoyment or nothing or you know, whatnot out of those lives. So if you enjoyed the lot, me doing a live and sitting and crocheting and talking to you guys, you know, and seeing if anybody needed help, I know I only did it for an hour and then we went to the virtual room. Um, let me know if you liked it that way. I know if I ask if you like the virtual room better, I'm going to have at least four people tell me, yes, they, they like that better. Um, so, I know we're going to stick to doing it that way. I just don't know if I'm going to be doing the live as well. So, I have the Kula. She has a bad thing of wanting to lay on my, um, on my wound area. Now that I think about it, I wonder if I've got all of that in my feet because of my last drain came out. So I wonder if some of the water is just going down to my feet. Hmm. I'd ask my doctor about that. Anyway, see you guys later. I love you. Let me know down below again if you prefer the virtual event, if you like, if you'd rather have it live, and if you're planning on doing this crochet along. And I will make sure that the link is below. And I'm going to set this to go off tomorrow. Now, if you do not happen, I guess you're not going to know because <laughs> you're not going to see this before I schedule it. 
I'll make sure that a couple of people know that it's supposed to come up tomorrow. And if it doesn't, then um, I have to go because maybe it accidentally went to private. Anytime I schedule it, it seems to accidentally go to private. And I don't know why. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Although sometimes it's wor it works fine. But when it doesn't, that's what it seems to do. So I'm going to go. I'm hungry. I need to find something to eat for dinner. And um, yeah, I got to close the door. I need to put on the air because it is like 87 degrees in the house. Not 87, 78. <laughs> and my husband's going to be really hot when he gets home. So I need to cool the place down before he gets home tonight. So I love you. I know I've said that already, but I love you. I do. Remember, you matter. Don't let anybody tell you differently. And if you ever need to talk, please send me an email. And if you don't hear back from me, please message me if you're a friend with me on Facebook. And um, yeah, because on my bad days, as we all know, I don't even look at email. So, but if I get your email, I will definitely email you back. Um, that's how I've met a couple of my dearest friends on here. And um, talk to you later. And remember, you're beautiful, you're gorgeous, and I love you guys. I truly do. Later. <laughs>